<coughs> so in this video we are going to see uh, table catalog and hive meta store temporary or permanent table storage okay so as i told you that in the hive meta store or hive uh, metadata db it um, it is created by this spark or managed by the spark and in that we can create three types of table which is uh, uh, managed which is which you call it as permanent second is temporary um, and third is external which is your storing the data from the third party databases okay temporary is where the spark manage the table and but it does not manage the data okay um, that is come that comes when uh, we have already talked in the last video where um, when we don't support the enable hive support okay if we don't call that then what it will going to do is it will create the temporary tables okay and exist till your spark session ends okay so there are three methods to store your tables or store your data frame into a table so the first method is create or replace temp view okay it will going to register your temporary table okay save as table so depends if you have enable hive support is active it will going to create a table permanently otherwise it will going to create a table temporarily then you have insert into okay so it will going to verify whether your data store your table exists or not if it if it exists then it will going to uh, then it will it will not going to insert the uh, create a table okay it will directly insert the data and it will be temporarily and it will be permanent only okay otherwise if the table ex does not exist it will create a table and insert the data also permanently right so if you want to see what type of uh, table it has created okay whether it's managed term permanent temporary or the external okay so the method name is spark dot catalog dot list tables okay in that you can see whether your what is the table type and to specify um want to know about the columns okay so whether it is um used in the bucket whether it's used in the partition okay it's cacheable nullable or what is the data type so you have the spark.catalog.list column and you need to pass a table name thank you